Good morning crafters! My name is Merritt and this is the Naptime Crafter Series. We are on to part three of our sweater pumpkin tutorial and if you've been following along we are going to be making these as adorable blue hue sweater pumpkin centerpieces um, or actually however many pumpkins you want. So if you got one pumpkin you're making one. Um, I got a bag of eight the other day at Joann's on sale so I've been doing this small section and I worked a little bit last night. Sorry, the naps didn't line up for me to get it all done for you yesterday. Um, little man, he's napping again right now. So, um, let's see. Adorable. Love him. So we're doing the part three of our tutorial, which is about painting. And I wanted to share some of the tips and tricks. I hope you have your coffee. lukewarm again. God, I cannot keep a hot cup of coffee. It's impossible. All right. So I wanted to share some tips and tricks that I had while I was going through my painting. And then I'm going to paint one in process with you guys. I've got my, um, if you were following on part two, we have now traced the template that you can find on creative earth slash resources. Um, and we have gone over that marker drawing with a hot glue gun. Now, one thing I will tell you, if you plan on doing cream pumpkins, if your final product is going to be a light color, um, go ahead and do yourself a favor and don't use a black marker. Use gray or tan or mm, anything but black because I'll tell you this right now, I did a champagne pumpkin. Mmm, pretty, right? Dudes, this is the fourth coat and I swear to you, if it doesn't cost I, I don't understand how many coats. I don't want a dog on the paint type because the company is actually, um, I'm kind of like, she's my idol. And also, um, I have had really good success with her paints in the past. Um, but it was the champagne, um, paint from a certain someone and it just took four coats, guys. Gosh, but I have had good luck with her paints in the past. So anyway, not dogging on master Stewart whatsoever she is awesome but um just to let you know also another thing I wanted to let you know yesterday I said something about removing the little strings from the hot glue here's the thing if you're gonna be looking at these pumpkins up close please do yourself a favor and remove the strings because I will tell you if I'm not, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this please please focus please oh please focus Please focus. Goodness gracious, I gotta get a better camera for close ups. In between every single dot is a spider web. Not cute. Not cute, mm -hmm. guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to remove those before you paint it because I'm just telling you right now, you can't take it off afterwards. It will peel off a whole bunch of paint and it will be stupid. So take it off before. Also, um, do yourself a favor and take it maybe outside to look at it in the sunlight be before you take off the paint, the little stringies. Um, the shiny metallic paints hide it much better than the dull paints. So as much as um, this had to have four coats, it also hid all those little stringies. Just a little tip. And then the matte one, um, I ended up taking a little bit of the leftover champagne and lightly brushing over all of the matte, the popped up 3D um, hot glue sections of that because I really like that it gives it a little bit more texture and it brings out that texture. Oh my god, I love this. So I wanted to show you a couple of different techniques that I use to paint my pumpkins. Um, and I, I'm going to also talk about which exact paints I used and I mixed them up. Um, none of them, I, I didn't use any of them as is out of the bottle except for the, um, Martha Stewart champagne because that is gorgeous, um, as is. So mm -hmm. worth the four mm -hmm. coats. Um, I'm getting like a bunch of text messages from a group message about a birthday party. So I'm really sorry if it's kind of buzzy in this. Um, anyhow. So a couple of things you can choose. You can do solid pumpkins, but how cute is this if you mimic kind of what happens naturally to pumpkins when they age and they color in different ways? Um, why not do that? 
Um, another thing I did was, if you see this one, it looks way better from far away. I took a slightly darker color and I painted on the on the underside only, okay? So that's a way that you can kind of add some definition. You can see how it really looks nice on a surface. Really love that one, guys. And again, I did go over the texture with the champagne so that it brings out that texture, okay? And again, I did not remove, God, please, for the love of anything, just focus. I did not remove the little strings. Fail. I failed so you don't have to. Go ahead and do it for yourself. If you're going to put it up on a shelf far away on your mantle, don't do it. But if you're going to be looking at these and have it in a centerpiece in your center table and you're constantly going to be irritated with yourself, take a second and take the steerings off. It's not that many, okay? Just do yourself a favor. But look, you can't even see them from here. So just to put it into perspective, maybe I'm being OCD. Maybe I am. Calm down, Merit. Okay, next tip. Um, <clears throat> I found that the original sticks I had, puny. They look so sad. So this morning I took my son on a walk. Score from someone's front yard. Actually, it was in the ditch. I did not steal. But these, I uh, before I left, I picked up the pumpkins. And I was like, hmm, what size stick do I need? And I put my pinky in. And that seemed to be like the perf size. So when I was walking, I just looked for pinky size sticks and this is kind of pinky size stick. So I got it. And okay. Now I'm kind of a freak. And if anybody knows me personally, they know that I have way too many craft supplies. Um, hence I opened a craft store, but one of the things that I've picked up along the way that I'm going to put a link for below you need if you do this a lot or if you cut anything that's even remotely hard or if you like tools that are really cool. I just got this sucker. Oh, all hail the angle cutter. I don't even, it doesn't even have a brand name on here so I can't even tell you but um, I'm going to zoom in and let you see that there are angles on here in both directions. There's a lock and then this beast opens and it is heavy duty. Don't put your finger in there. You will cut it off. Like on the reel, you will cut it off. Okay. So, um, but check this out. Oh, that's a beautiful cut right there, my friend. So what I was doing was taking this giant stick that I'm not sure if you, you're not going to ruin any of my scissors with that, so don't even try it, and especially not my fabric scissors, back off of my gingers. But I can take this, and I push it, I don't care what the angle is for this. <clears throat> Bam! Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Do I want to take another one? Oh, okay, so it is hard, but, <clears throat> oh my god. Oh. So good, right? It's a very, that's the wrong end. So good, right? Now I'm going to take this little guy. Bam. Then I'm going to take another one. Bam. It really isn't that much pressure. I'm just making, I'm a, an exaggerator. Shh. Um, so now I'm going to do this last one because I, I want them all to match and have a nice clean cut. So now I'll have to pick up all these little things that it just flew all over my room. And I've got my little stemsies. So another trick. So I have plenty of stick. Plenty of stick. We can make more pumpkins. Don't make any jokes. Don't be rude. Um, okay, so I have my sticks and I have my pumpkins. Now, coolest fact ever. Girl, you don't even need a hot glue for this. So all I did was put it in the hole, mm, push it down, mm, push it down into the styrofoam. Dunzerino, how cool does that look? Dang it, I forgot. Okay, the other thing I was going to do is, and I'm going to go get it um, and show you in the final picture, mm -hmm. I'm going to take rose gold wire that I have and I'm going to wrap it around my finger, pull it off and then wrap it around the base here once or twice and have a little like curly cue of the ribbon. I know, adorable. 
Ah, I can't wait. But I didn't bring my my wire. It's in the other room, and I don't want to leave and just leave you with this to look at. So anyway, keeping going. I've got my little pumpkin. No, I need a big one for this guy. This guy needs something substantial. I'll put this guy in here. Oh, cute. So cute. Okay. Adorbs. So now, um, magic of TV. Cripes. I almost threw this into my coffee. <laughs> that would have been funny. So magic of TV. Wah, 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 wah. This is how many I have so far. I did five out of the eight. So I left two to do on camera with you. How stinking adorable are these? So we can paint these together. It's almost an 11 minute video. I'm gonna go ahead and change to another one just because I like to switch it up in case people have things to do for love and know, I know everything that my baby is about to wake up. So I'm sure of it. Um, we'll pause now and I'll come back to paint. All right, thanks guys, bye.